Hello, Monsters of Band here, and welcome back to Total War Troy and part 15 of my Hippolyta campaign. Last time, we, we had some issues down in the south, as it looks like we're now at war with some factions down here. Sarpedon confederated with Paris, but this has left him seriously open to invasion. So we now, we're now moving an army down to intercept that, potentially, and by intercept... I mean, like, wait for them to take some settlements and then take them over ourselves so we have more settlements, which, you know, why wouldn't we, right? And we're also potentially going to head over and uh, start attacking some of the... the well, we're actually... I could take this, couldn't I? Come down here, take that. Use that as a springboard. Agam Agamemnon is hanging around. So we need to we need to be wary of him. I might need to. Hmm. 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 Oh, mm. You know. You know what? I've got enough food. Why don't I get another army? Why don't I do that? In fact, if I do that here, so we're gonna get. What do you like? When you win a battle, when you end up garrisoned. Perfect. Adon, you're on. Well, good. Like, like Victory the, like the hustle. So let's Certainly. let's get some of you ladies, because we got the, we got a lot, we got lots of food, and we're also building up food as well. We also need some more bronze, but fortunately we can send him in there to boost that up, and then we can boost up the bronze of that province. We should then make, be making some uh, sort of a good amount of bronze, and we've also got a royal decree. I'm going to spend that on rationing. That's right. Everyone gets less food. Enjoy that. Good stuff there. And who else? Oh, God. Will, the gods for Will you? No, you won't. Not this turn. Next turn. You. I keep the ritual. Next turn. Also next turn. You. I interpret the Two turns. Right. So you can't do anything. You guy. Now, is this... This is... Oh, it's going down by 2.7% a turn. Beef that up. Critical success. Very nice. Uh, is there anywhere else that's sort of like a little bit dicey on the old, on the old, it doesn't look, oh, actually, tell a lie. Um, am I bothered about that? Not really. Uh, you know what we could do? I could actually get you in, if I get you in this army. You come over here, Mr. Smart Donkey, and you're going to go and do logistical control in Prothoe's army. Just to keep down the the costs. That's what you're going to be doing. So, good stuff there. I've spent all my resources on all kinds of things, really. Lots of buildings been going on. Big infrastructure. Yeah, I want more gold. So, gold is good. Uh, construction, no. Battle cries ranked up. Uh, Herculean roar or rallying cry. So that's more melee defense, more morale. That's more armor-piercing damage, more speeds. That leads on to... In oh, that's a cooldown reduction. That's cost reduction. I mean, cost is not actually a major issue. Area, though. We, we, are, we do tend to tank and then shoot, don't we, with our archers. So maybe rallying cry would be better. Let's get rallying cry. Kind of suits her, because obviously she's always... I mean, she's got a name. No, Fluffy, you don't have a skill point! Every fucking time. He gets me every time. Okay, I guess. Not, not a hundred. I'm no. I'm not. I'm not a hundred percent sure why you you declare war on me, considering obviously I'm allied with all. Who the fuck are you? Where the fuck did you come from? Uh, right. Good to know. Is there any point fighting that, do we think? I... I don't think so. I honestly don't think there is any good reason. Oh dear, it came off. 
Who the fuck are you? Where the fuck did you come from? Squiggly Snake Boys. I swear, if you're also at war with Paris... I'm gonna lose my shit. Uh, right, you're fortunate. Good. Led astray. Right, settlement raised. Uh, well, I don't know why you raised it. Where the... Right, so you're up here. I will try to find time to hear the Amazons out. Can I just have a pick? Like, go away. And give me all your gold. You knob. Honest to God. Right. Good. Fuck off. I don't like do I it, it's woods, right? It's woods. Do I care about that? Not really. Right, we'll pop pop you in there. And then we're gonna get more bronze. So we've already we've already massively increased bronze production. Our way is the true way. Which is good stuff. Let's get archers in there. Uh, we do want to get. Are you at war with these guys? I am honoured at the attention of such a formidable woman. You mean Butch, don't you? Let's be honest here. Are you all with them? Don't don't take that. It's mine. I saw it first. Go away. Go and go and do something else. Got shit to do, mate. Right, where's Agamemnon? Agamemnon is... Uh, he's heading in this direction, isn't he? I reckon if I... If I go over here, he'll probably run away. Oof. These guys are getting awfully close. They're moving very fast. It does look like there's a couple of armies from Paris moving down, but there's only seven of them, so I'm not holding my breath as to... how successful that is going to be. Lovely critical success there. Hephaestus and Zeus all nicely beefed up. Doing Apollo, he's at 376. We will do a Hecate, we can do that in two turns. Get a little uh, Apollo rep in there. Our archers are already quite scary and they're going to be more so. Mistress of the bow. I really want to take that and I'm worried Paris is going to take it. In fact, I can guarantee Paris is going to take it because he's a knob. What a knob. Do I want more growth? Would more gro I mean, more food would be okay, but I'm not super worried about that right now. More bronze per turn, maybe. Plus 20% to treasure loot after battle would be quite nice. Campaign movement range of all armies would would be quite neat, wouldn't it? And all of that would be cool. We've got the archers, haven't we? You know what would be nice? It may be getting the, the Trojan Horse Siege Tower. Let's maybe aim for that one. So let's let's go for that. Okay, you're recruiting. You're recruiting. Do, how many army? Oh, I've got you as well, haven't I? I've got you as well. I forget that I've got you. So... We've got... Yeah, okay. So I'm going to bring you down here. Kind of shield that. We, we need to deal... If I can knock out these guys, and the sooner the better. Is that a little rebel army there? Oh, yeah. Little rebel army. Yes, they're causing some some issues. They're moving up, but it does... Looks like they've got... They might have armies here. Mm, I'm going to have to keep an eye on this, because if they manage to sneak past, that could be... That could be a problem. I might need to bring this army down here to help out, and then we can use... Parthenia and Hippolyta to sort of like push push into the Aegean Sea capture some of these islands, that would be good we might lose this gold down here not super worried about that I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how we are do I knock some of these down? could up, well we can't upgrade them but we could, we could no, does, it does, oh, that gives us plus one treasure do I need those, though? Probably not. If we get more stone, we could get even more stone. Stone. No! Fucking fluffy! Every fucking time. Every fucking time. It gets me. 
talent can advance your brain. <sighs> Every time he gets me. Okay, that's going to drop a little bit, but I'm not super concerned. We're going to keep that up because they've definitely built. Oh, you built us! Oh, you built a temple to Zeus in here, did you, you bastard? Oh, you little shit! Would that half our warriors fought so well? Would you be that you gave me my fucking city? I mean, seventy-five is better, but it's still miles away. He will definitely not give that to me, which is a shame because I would like it. So we will upgrade you. I will upgrade. Yep, more bronze is good. And yes, I will upgrade you as well. May as well. No harm there. Get a little bit more food as well. Would seem pretty good. I'm not going to worry about my agents. Wait, did I have the one for Apollo? Or was that... No, no I've got... Look. Look, Hector. I've got enough of my plan. Maybe declaring war on Parthenia would... He would give me that city. I really want that city. Oof. I can Wait. These guys? The, the squiggly snake people? <sighs> really? This is going to trash my reputation. Oh, I see. They took that. So that's now under siege. And that army must be fucked. So what's... But you should... I mean, I'm not... What? You? War at last? What, Mr... Mr. Two Dolphins doing a high five on your little pity... pity island in the middle of fucking nowhere? And yeah, I'm not... Not super worried about losing that one. We knew we were going to lose that one, didn't we? Ooh. Little confederation. Murmurs of sedition. Pull it as a sailor. Did you take... Oh, you didn't. You wandered off. Oh, oh God. Hello, peeps. Okay, well, we're going to have to kill all these dweebs, aren't we? Because they're heading right for... I'd really like to take that, but I'm going to... Ha Where, where's Agamemnon? Has he buggered off? Yeah, of course he has. Right. I know my part. Right. Show your courage. To be honest, I would be... I'd be happy if you brought in more friends, but I guess this is fine. I won't, like, fight, because otherwise I'll have to fight you both, or one at a time, and I can't be bothered to do that. I just want to kill you all at the same time. Yeah, our marksmen of Elysium are pretty fucking terrifying. They have 106 missile damage, 263 range. They're, they're very skip, plus they're unbreakable. Anyone who tries to f charge in their general direction is going to have a very bad time. Plus, of course, their, their shots are discouraging, which means it reduces the morale of anyone that gets hit, which makes them more likely to run away. If they're running away, then they're not defending themselves with their shields. Which, Jesus Christ, just saw them just evaporate. So I'm sending some wretched shades in to basically try and tank because they've got these javelins. So I was like, you know what? Tank the javelins. Get them to sort of like sit in at range from our archers, and our archers can basically finish them off. We do have our black spears, who are of course friggin' elite. These girls. They know how to penetrate men deeply. And of course, we've got the, the giant shades as well charging in there. They're also pretty bloody scary. So we'll let the giant shade... And so, of course, Fluffy. There he is, nomming away. And here come the spears. And you will see this unit literally just... Oh, plus Centaur. Centaur's coming in from the rear. Surprise Centaur Charge. 
giants just headbutting people left, right, and center. The spears stabbing them. Coming in from the rear as well. We've got centaurs in a lance formation. Enemy reinforcements are on the way, but I don't think they're going to reach reach their, their friends in time as the centaurs slam into the back of that unit, breaking it. It's a rout as enemy unit after enemy unit starts fleeing away from the battlefield. Some just shattering instantly. Others fleeing. You see them getting run down there. Centaurs doing a good number on them. Let's look at, look at the kills on the archers though. 196. <laughs> Fucking hell. 194. Absolute cut. And they're actually melee attacks pretty good. The melee attacks actually nothing to to sneer at. It's uh, it's not bad. They're, they're pretty good. And now just the only slight issue is the amount of ammunition they have because although it's it's a lot, they shoot so quickly. With most of the initial enemy force now either dead, running away, or being shot in the back. Ow. It's just time to deal with the enemy reinforcements. Now, they actually have some renowned slingers. Now, these guys, we know, can do some damage. And so, therefore, we're going to target them and make sure they are removed from the equation. For Jesus, there's so many dead bodies. Think of all the souls. So, a few a few volleys. I think we're shooting at the club warriors at the moment. A few volleys on the renowned slingers. Once the, the club warriors have been well and truly yep, broken. There we go. Of course, that's also going to target the Shielded Spearman, which is good. That's a lot of fire currently coming in. Uh, the Renowned Slingers kind of get cover from the Shielded Spearman as they advance over the top of them, but not enough as they are brutally cut down very, very quickly. Just the Shielded Spearman left, and if we have a look at the kills on the archers, yes, they're up, up in the hundreds. I'm not surprised, to be honest, what with the... You know, the 109 missile damage. That's that's pretty good. The centaurs are running down units left, right, and centre, but the enemy generals actually uh, cause one of the centaur units to go out of control and melee him. We need to get Hello Monsters Abound in here to uh, to chop him up, backed up by Cerberus. Sending Jeremy in to tank some of the shielded spearmen to give us a little bit of cover, and the shielded spearmen now turn to engage Jeremy and get shot in the back without their shields. Centaurs then hit the flank, and the enemy army no is broken. Oh, I can just taste those. Tasty, tasty souls. 542. Very nice. Very nice indeed. I mean, the replenishment isn't really going to affect us. And who needs who needs morale when you're dead? So your soul is mine. Now, with any luck, we can also hit this guy. No, come back. Queen no, you bastard. Sure, I think I think we've maxed out now. That will never work. I say bring it, dweebs. Rising to the challenge. Let's do a little now, can we get the I keep we can do that. Done. More favour for Apollo. Very nice. We can do a heck of now, I want to get to worship so we can get the seer. Because I think then we can beef up uh I think it does a lot of rep for a particular god. So I'm hoping we can do... I, you know what I need? I, I think I need... I need Cretin. Probably down here to help out against this. Because this... This is deeply unpleasant. There's too many... Too many armies around here to deal with. Can I reach you? Are you... You're, you can probably run away, can't you? You can probably run away. So, if I... If I hop ashore... 
set an ambush. You should then blunder in to that. I'm going to bring you over here to go and take uh, Phyllis. Need to keep venerating them ancestors. Do we need to keep doing that here? 64 is going down a little bit, but we can get that and that'll probably fix it. You know, you're probably needed over here, actually, aren't you? So let's get you over there, because, of course, over here we've got several capitals that are ex like expen ex extending their influence in all directions anyway. Uh, I'm not going to worry too much about these guys. They're raiding me, but we got a garrison, we got walls, so I'm not... I'm not super concerned about that. I wonder if I could give... No, that's Paris, isn't it? I was, I was hoping... I was hoping Hector had taken it and then I could maybe trade that for that, but I don't think... I don't think he'll... He's not going to give it to me, is he? But I want it. Give it to me. Right, you're ambushing. Good. Let's see. Great Book of Grudges. Indeed. More resources, I guess. I guess. Good for you. Where's Apollo down there? So, until that, I'm not too worried about what skill point you take, really. <sighs> Fucking fluffy. One of these days... One of these days, I'll realise that Fluffy does not have a fucking skill point. Okay, they're over there. Now, we can't reach them. However, we don't have to. You can't reach them. You can! Okay, so we can attack this guy. Now, because he's he's rowing as fast as his little, little arms can can do. He can't do anything about this. He is super screwed. I probably could have auto resolved this, but I wanted to see if we could kill an entire enemy army before they reached us. I think our chances are pretty good. The enemy army is mostly made up of, well, garbage warriors. Garbage troops who don't really have much shield defense. And as such, the likelihood of them actually managing to reach our line is pretty small, considering that we've got uh, a line of infantry with our shades on the right and our living units on the left. We've got some of our spears running around the flank as well to dock out some of the axe warriors. May as well give them something to do. And meanwhile, the rest of the enemy army is... You know what? They are actually getting into range. Fair play. Fair play. I mean, not over here. Over here, things are not so good. As these Anatolian youths get absolutely devastated. And yep, that, that has just... The marksman of Elysium morale fire just cut through them so quickly. And most of the units now retreating over here. Our spears have engaged the Axe Warriors on the flank. And as you can see, they are completely... Yep, yeah, there we go. The Axe Warriors breaking there and now being run down. That means we can move over to engage these Axe Warriors as well. I was, I was thinking maybe the Black Spears could run around and help out our front line. But to be honest, we don't need to. Seeing as the entire enemy army is now fleeing in the opposite direction. The main problem with that being for them that they're now running away from us and don't even have their pitiful shield defense to protect them. Which means these guys, yeah, they're all they're all dead. They are super dead. One less army to threaten our coastline. I think it's safe to say that well, we wrecked them. We lost eleven. What a great feeling! I mean, it's yeah, it's pretty good, isn't it? Now, can we reach you still? We can. Can't quite now. Is that the only army nearby? There's a little one over there, but it's only a six, so I'm not super. Oh, 
not particularly concerned about that. Let's just auto resolve you. Protho getting a little bit ahead of herself, considering she's had Hippolyta's assistance, but it's given her a little skill point there. We can get Assault on, ba on Battery or Song of Battle. Uh, that's going to give you more armor piercing, attack interval, but less melee defense. I am. Let me sing the song of my people. Let's go. Sure, let's do a song of battle. Song of battle, little low. Okay, it's only a little, only little armies. Let's go and grab this. We will occupy this little, little Amazon site there, which is good. Okay, you're 11, you're 8, 12, and 10. Okay, that's a rebel army, though, so I don't have to worry about that one. But those are only, only, little, only little armies. And you have indeed blundered too close. Is that the only army, though? Does look like it. We do have Agamemnon dicking about in the ocean. Let's just go and kill you. Into the fray. <laughs> Oof. Battered his bum. You are free to go, fools. So, do we have... We don't have... Mind you, there are now armies starting to... They might be able to blunt it by themselves. I mean, they've got multiple stacks heading in that direction. Glory to the Amazons. It would be nice if we could take some settlements... But I don't need to. Now the garrisons here should be good enough to fend off a little attack like that. And I think our allies are moving in to knock them out. Unrealistic expectations. Give me all your bronze for a trade agreement. It might annoy my allies a little bit, but, you know, I'll be getting bronze. And also some wood. Give me your bronze and your wood. In. How do my allies feel about me? Trusted for... Oh, they, they love me. They blood I mean, all the things I'm doing to the people that are sailing over to my coastline must be having some effect, right? Okay, 650. Nice. I just got Hammer of the Gods, Healing and Music, and Ruler of Olympus as well. All those achievements in one for getting Apollo. Um, I've definitely maxed out... So well, have... Hmm. Why did I get them all at once? Odd. Oh, well. Uh, so... We have a Temple to Hera over here, don't we? So, what happens if... We get a little seer. So what does this, I don't know what a seer does. My fate is to question. Mo Always wait, what? Question. Move to my oh, because that will give us big, big experience, won't it? But it's only for Polyton and Hopolos already ranked, is maxed out, so I don't really need to worry about that. So what happens if I send you there? Ritual True Sights. I suppose again, the presenting assessment that the seer is removed afterwards. They can probably change anyone's. Yes. So, we can basically max out Hera rep. Which is fine, I guess. I mean, the growth will be nice. That'd be good. Everything else is a bit meh, but do we want to do that? Maybe we could do Artemis. What would Artemis give us? So, more ammunition for archers. That'd be good. Missile damage and armor piercing missile damage of archers. That would be good. Campaign movement range. That would be good. That sounds all good. Why don't we do that? So, what if I change this? We rededicate to Artemis. 260 gold. I'm willing to just spend that gold because I can't be bothered to worry about it. So, we'll, we'll do that. Okay, let's get you back to the settlement. Can we... Oh, I can... I can rank you up. I can make you into... 
Impolitus chosen. So let's do that. Oh, and you've ranked up as well. What can we do? We can get truce. Meh, boring. Or none left standing. That's that sounds more like Parthenia's. So more melee attack, but makes them go berserk. Fuck it, I'll be yeah. She sets the ladies wild. Ah, and we can now get the Trial Gardens, the Temple of Mysteries, and the Royal Stables. Bosh, bosh, bosh. I could also get the Chariot Proven Gown, but I don't really want to, so I'm not going to. Let's instead get the Offering Pit. Do I want the Offering Pit? Could do Cryo Square. Let's get Cryo Square. Let's do that instead. Okay, so you know what I, I keep meaning to do is get Hippolyta some upgrade her weapons. I could actually do that. Because I don't need to I don't need to be in the province, do I? I just need to be in the in the No, I need to be I don't need to I need to be in the province, not the particular settlement. So if I go to there, I should be then able to upgrade all of my units. And that's all good. Fluffy, you still don't have a skill point. I'm not falling for it this time. Victory is inevitable. Battle cry you're going to increase range of archers? Sure. Our archers are pretty fucking legit. I, cannot do that. I don't know who you guys are, I'll be honest, but we are quite near. I mean, Salamis is, is right there. They are our antagonists, apparently. I've not really been paying too much attention to them. What's our, what's our next? Hang on. What's the, what, oh, it's the, the quest was to build the things, wasn't it? Hang on. Amazon walls. So Gate Bastion, Royal Stables, Temple Mist Truck. So we, we'll get all those as soon as we've done that. So that's going to give us some, some good bonuses there. And then we'll be on to the next part of the Homeric Victory Quest Epic Mission. The only issue is that we don't have the Sacred Settlements and I don't know where they are. Is... wait. Is Athens dead? Did they Oh, they confederated with... My scene. Okay, well, well, that's one less problem I have to deal with, I guess. So that that's no longer an issue. Tick there. So we need to kill Mycenae. We need to kill Sparta, and we need to control Athens, and then we need the six six sites. Now I just don't know where those sites are. That's the only issue because maybe there's like is that one? Okay, so that's one there. There's nothing that kind of like flags them up to you. Which is a shame, because it would be really fucking useful if it did. Because like, I'm like, where, where, where are they? Are they going to be over here? I don't know. Are they likely to be over there? Can we see them? Where would they be? You'd think they'd be sort of like near, n near to where they start, right? I mean, I know one is here, but I don't... Is there just six? Because they're just six, we can't do it. Which is a bit of a bugger. We can, though, do the... Not the antagonist, I'm not particularly worried about that. The Amazon Kingdom. So we could we could unlock this, right? What does this do? Instant upgrades the main settlement building. So it'll cost 12,000 food, which we have. 350 gold, which we have. So there we go. Bosh, a new age! So we can now instantly upgrade our sort of capital building should we want to assuming we have enough amazon treasures i wonder if there's like a guide that tells me where all the sacred settlements are because that would be really useful to actually know to find the bloody things but we, we do know one is at myopa right which is yeah, i've lost it again that's fine we'll, we'll find it it's oh there it is Mariopa. marupia is there maybe some down here Maybe on an old Crete. You never know. Could be fun to find out. Uh, so I might try and find a guide to see if I can actually like work out where these bloody settlements are and whether it's actually feasible we could get a Homeric victory or whether to just rule it out. But that is going to have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.